He called me and essentially he was like, I'd very much want to take you out. And I was like, what do you mean? Jada Pinkett Smith tells individuals. Jada Pinkett Smith hasn't addressed Chris Rock since the Oscars episode, yet she trusts everybody in question can find harmony. The entertainer, whose book Commendable is out October 17, tells individuals in a real new meeting that no, I haven't conversed with Chris since The Walk 27, 2022, when her significant other Will Smith struck him in front of an audience at the Oscars, in the wake of disagreeing with a joke made about Jada. Do I have any longing to converse with Chris? Here is my craving. I simply trust that all the misconception around this can be cleared up and that there can be harmony, she adds. I discussed this in the book, I feel that there may be a few misconception among Chris and I to the extent that the 2016 Oscars. I believe that he might have disapproved, which I had only good intentions in culpable. That wasn't my goal. However, I really do feel that there's an unfortunate mix-up there, says Jada, 52. Back in 2016, when Will was neglected for his blackout execution and the acting designations perceived no entertainers of variety, Jada was vocally on the side of the number of scarce white development, requiring a blacklist of the honor show. Chris, who was facilitating that year, poked fun at Jada in his discourse. What's more, in his Netflix parody Exceptional recently, Chris guaranteed that Jada let him know he ought to stop the facilitating gig out of fortitude. Jada confesses to not actually perceiving the degree of strain Chris might have been under at that point. I most likely ought to have called him and gone, hello, would you say you are all right? Furthermore, simply know that despite the fact that I'm standing in opposition to the Oscars, I in all actuality do hope everything works out for you, and I simply believe you should know that me finding opportunity to have called him and said that just to get in contact. In any case, his sentiments might have been harmed, she says. Yet, Jada adds, the best anyone can hope for at this point is to simply take a gander at our part and see where on earth have I accomplished something that would have appeared as though anything misconception might have been made, how might I at some point have stayed away from that misconception? The one thing that I ponder is that call. Jada says Chris, 58, called her a short time later in 2016, and she thought they'd continued on. He was sorry and I was sorry to him also, she says. So I really believed that we were great, that the axe was covered between us. Furthermore, we hadn't talked from that point forward until 2022 came. Straightforwardly after the slap, Jada says Chris came downstage to address her during a respite in the live transmission, where he was introducing an honor. Chris boiled down to the furthest limit of the stage and attempted to apologize to me. He said, I didn't mean you any mischief. I said, I can't discuss this now Chris. This is some old s. I thought this was about the Oscar 2016, and their stuff that they had before I even came into the image in the last part of the 80s. I must pass on that to Will and Chris to discuss, however they got their stuff without a doubt. Was Jada, who lives with alopecia, outraged by the joke at the focal point of the Oscars episode, Chris making a zinger about her shaved head? At the end of the day, that is the very thing humorists do, says Jada. I would simply need to say that I am not exactly here to make any judgment on how individuals choose to put themselves out there and express I'll say that multiple times I've had my sentiments harmed, without a doubt. I've had my sentiments harmed a ton by Chris. However, by the day's end, as well, being at the center of attention, it goes with the job. Jada likewise uncovers in her book that Chris once asked her out on the town. Making sense of something else for individuals, she says. I figure each mid-year every one of the reports would come out that me and Will were getting a separation. Furthermore, this specific summer, Chris, he felt that we were getting a separation. So he called me, and essentially he was like, I'd very much want to take you out. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, all things considered, aren't you and Will getting a separation? I was like, no. Chris, those are simply bits of gossip. He was horrified. What's more, he lavishly apologized and that was that. A rep for Chris didn't answer individual solicitation for input. In a meeting with Today on Wednesday, Jada uncovered to Hoda Kot that she and Will have been isolated for a long time. Jada affirmed that it wasn't a separation on paper, as Kot phrased it, yet when we got to 2016, we were simply depleted with attempting. I think we were both sort of still trapped in our dream of what we figured the other individual ought to be, she told the TV writer. 
The set it off entertainer likewise said she made a commitment that there won't ever be a justification for us to get a separation, making sense of, we will deal with whatever. Will, 55, has since apologized for the Oscars episode and left the Institute, which restricted him from going to its occasions for a considerable length of time. Pondering that evening, Jada says she thought it was a production from the outset and it required her one moment to enroll what had occurred. From where I was sitting I was unable to tell. It didn't seem to be Will hit Chris, in light of the fact that, number one, I'd seen Will in the boxing ring with ace contenders Will's a powerhouse. So when Chris moved, it seemed as though he dodged or he missed the shot. Also, when he proceeded to stand, and afterward when he kept on strolling down to the furthest limit of the stage, I was like, it's basically impossible. The fact that Will hit him makes it essentially impossible that. She adds, it was only after Will began to stroll back to his seat that I even acknowledged it was anything but a play. I was in as a very remarkable haze as any other person in that room that evening. Jada attempted to keep myself grounded and made do with individuals around us, and explicitly for Will in the prompt fallout. The principal point she made to Will a while later was, would you say you are okay?